Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. This is going to be a reading for Aquarius. Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus signs. What is going on for you guys in the month of September 2020? I want to get an idea of the energy um, that you're putting across this month, Aquarius. Um, energy of the people, person, situations that you're dealing with or that are surrounding you for the month, um, as well as what the general sort of theme and outcome is going to be. I will also pull a card for advice. Of course, um, if this doesn't resonate, please feel free to check out your other placements. Um, all the videos should be up by now, so you can check out your other um, signs. If you like the video, please um, Remember to hit that thumbs up button, subscribe to my channel. It really helps me grow the channel and ultimately create more readings for you guys, which I love doing. And I hope to do more extended readings as well. But Aquarius, let's see what your energy is this month. What is going on for Aquarius in love? What is going on for Aquarius for the month of September? Got the Queen of Pentacles, the Lovers, wow. The Chariot, Death, so many major arcana. We've got the Nine of Wands and the Eight of Wands. Okay, let's pull a card for advice. I'd like some advice, please. Any sort of general advice for my Aquarius viewers to help them get through the month of September 2020. Advice or affirmation, please. We've got the Five of Air, equivalent to the Five of Swords um, in the traditional tarot. So I'll just leave that there. We'll get to that at the end. Aquarius, we have some um, really, really intense energy here this month, probably leading up to September as well. If there hasn't already been um, a major, major change in one or more areas of your life, um, I think that's going to come in the month of September. I will probably pull some clarifying cards here because I want more information on, on what exactly is going on. But to start with, um, these two cards I pulled for um, representation of your energy this month, Aquarius. So we've got the Queen of Pentacles here and the Lovers card. So Queen of Pentacles, um, very stable energy, someone who is, you know, a very sort of motherly figure, someone who's very concerned about stability, someone who has ultimate rule over the material realm. So I'm getting the sense that um, you had gotten to a point in your life with regards to a particular area of your life, whether that be, you know, a relationship or... Um, stability in your you know career your finances you had achieved um, a certain level of stability in your life now something is going to come in this month if it hasn't already and kind of shake that up a little bit and I'm not suggesting that you know everything that you've built up is going to come crashing down far from it I think, um, you know, given the other cards that have come out, I think you're going to be able to handle what gets thrown at you or what comes up this month. But something is going to come in and really shake up your world. It's going to shake you to the core because we've got the lover's energy here, Gemini energy. This is all about trying to achieve balance but then needing to make a choice between something. It's like a polarity between something. So something is going to come up and really sort of make you realize you need to make a choice. Um, this could be a choice with regards to how to move forward in life, how to move to the next stage in life. And sometimes, you know, it's we don't always like the options that are in front of us. Sometimes there's not a clear winner when it comes to what choice we should make or what path we should follow. It's often the case that, you know, there are so many pros and cons to each. And even if you try and work out a list or write down a list of pros and cons, it's still very, very difficult to 
um, find a clear winner to make a clear decision um, as to which way you want to go. So I get the sense that something is going to come up for you that is going to um, make you make a choice. And it's not just a little choice. It's not just a choice that you can go back on. It's going to be something very, very significant, which has the potential to completely change or alter your life course one way or another. So this is a choice that you're taking very, very, very seriously. It could be a choice between two people, you know, who is going to be the right, the right person for me long term. I mean, that's a that's a very, very significant decision. It could be a choice of, you know, am I going to start a family or not? Am I going to, um, you know, have more children if I already have, you know, some children? Am I going to uh, move? Am I going to have a completely different, um, you know, career change? Should I just completely leave something behind and start something new, even though there's so much risk associated with that? Um, it's going to be something that you feel at least um, is going to be very, very significant um, choice in altering the direction of your life. And you're worried about that, Aquarius, because as I said, you, you're kind of in a place where if you don't make a decision, things will kind of continue on as they have been it's not necessarily like i said before it's not like your your whole world's going to fall, fall apart if you don't make this choice but at the same time some sometimes stability can get you know it's comforting but it can be a little bit boring and it doesn't really help us achieve rapid growth in our life something is coming in that is going to force a rapid change and i think you know that you need to take a leap forward and not lose out on this opportunity and make a decision one way or another with the other two cards that have come up here this is the energy surrounding you or people surrounding you i mean wow we've got again two major cards of transformation and change i like the fact that the chariot has come up here in addition to the death card because when I see the death card, it's not always, you know, it's necessary change. It's change that is a normal part of life. It's transformation. It's ending of the old, beginning of the new, and it affects everyone, um, no matter where you come from, um, how old you are, um, you know, rich, poor, everyone gets affected by um, change and transformation in life. It's inevitable and it's not always what we want. Again, you know, you build up, you build up something that's quite stable or that seems quite solid and then something will come along and shake that and change it up. And that's completely normal. It's a part of life. Unfortunately, with the um, death card, it's, it can represent more often than not change that may be necessary, but is not necessarily what we want to happen. So um, we can get very upset by this kind of change. And again, it's not necessarily literal death um, or the death of you know a loved one or something, um, but it is just change, transformation in our life that we do not want. Um, I like that it is flanked by the chariot though, because this is all about action-oriented change. This is, um, you know, stepping into your power and making the change. So I feel like with the energy surrounding you um, this month, Aquarius, you're going to realize that a necessary change um, is going to happen. And you might feel like even if you step back and don't make a decision, that's probably not the right thing to do because you will end up being worse off or you'll end up potentially missing a very, very good opportunity. So this says to me that you're very, very aware of that and you're getting ready to take the bull by the horns, you know, take the reins and make that kind of change. You want to be the driver of the change rather than sitting in the passenger seat and just letting the change happen. Um, it's better to have more control over the situation. Once again, we've got the sort of um, polarity in this card like we do in the lover's card. So again, it could be like struggling between two different things, trying to balance two different things in order to move forward. And it's a very, very tricky balance and you're walking a fine line. 
very interesting. I will pull some um, more clarifiers in a moment because I want more information on what's going on here as well. In the outcome, we've got the Nine of Wands and the Eight of Wands. So um, once again, card that's all about transformation, change, um, you know, some type of communication coming in, either coming into you or you um, putting out towards um, someone else that is going to bring about some kind of change. Nine of Wands here, um, you're feeling a little bit defensive. You're feeling the burden of everything that's going on around you, I believe. Um, and so you're you're just tired. Um, you feel like you may have been battling for a long time or you feel like, geez, it's taken me so long to get to this level of stability and to build up what I have. And now it's being threatened. It's being threatened by... Um, whatever is coming in to shake it all up and again it could be another person um, it could be someone you know if you are in, already in a relationship it could be a, you know a third party sort of stepping in and trying to um, you know alter things and that's not necessarily another person or it's not even necessarily someone having an affair it could just be some kind of interfering energy like a boss or you know a parent or a relative or something like that that is coming in and shaking the connection up um whatever the case may be something you feel is threatening your stability is threatening what you've created and you feel very defensive about that but I like the cards of action that have come up here with the Chariot and the Eight of Wands because it suggests to me, again, that you're going to step up and take the bull by the horns. And I think that's what you need to do. You need to um, step up and, and take some action so that you're a little bit more in control um, of the change that's happening so that you have an active say in it rather than just kind of letting it come in and not really um, being able to have any sort of prediction over what's going to happen next in the overall advice we've got the five of air equivalent to the five of swords in the tarot um, when this is coming up in the advice position um, especially with with this um, deck here which is more about giving you guys a kind of affirmation um, this is all about learning from any sort of setbacks that you come across, learning from, you know, you might have had someone around you that's been a little bit deceptive or sort of manipulative, manipulative or deceptive kind of energy, but it's about learning from that. It's about um, taking the lessons from that and being able to grow and avoid, um, you know, similar things happening in the future. I'm going to pull um, some more cards now for, um, you know, just some further clarification. Why is the Queen of Pentacles here, please? Why is the Queen of Pentacles here? What is going on with this Queen of Pentacles? What is happening with the Queen of Pentacles? Come on, something come out. What is going on with this Queen of Pentacles? What is happening with the Queen of Pentacles? So I'm about to poke out here. Got the Two of Swords in reverse. Some kind of, you know, coming again, all about making decisions. Um, getting out of a, a stalemate. I think you're realizing that you can't kind of... Um, You've got to take the blindfold off Aquarius. You can't just sit there and be blind to what's going on. You need to um, have some kind of a more active role in what's happening and actually make that choice. So I'm liking that that has come up in the reverse direction. We've also got, yeah, the world and the emperor here. So um, you could be dealing with um, many, many changes in your life. Once again, this is... This is a very significant life change for you. Could be the ending of a cycle. Could be dealing with um, uh, either another fixed sign or an Aries or something like that. Uh, it could be something to do with work. Work and career situation is just turning up on its head, or there's some major, major choice that you need to make there. Why is the chariot here, please? What is the is the action that Aquarius needs to take? Oh, so many major arcana coming out, guys. Oh my god. Um, the lovers again, the sun and the star. Wow. Okay. Um, 
yeah, this choice that you need um, to make, again, major, major choice here. This is something that is really going to affect your happiness and your wish fulfillment. Um, you, I think, are really taking stock of what is important to you. You're potentially going within, um, withdrawing a little bit and trying to figure out exactly what it is that is important to you and what's going to bring you passion in your life. I think there's, um, again, it could be a choice between two people. Um, so there are either very, two very, very, very important people in your life. And that's either two people that you're potentially going to get into a romantic um, connection with or who you want to make an offer to. Um, the choice needs to be made. Um, and it's going to affect your future happiness and wish fulfillment. So big, big, big choices this month. Massive choices. Why is the death card here? Yeah. Confusion. Confusion about which way to go. So many options. You don't want to choose the wrong thing. You don't want to get um, sucked into something that's going to lead you down the wrong path. Again, um, we do have that card of manipulation here. So um, tell me more about the manipulative energy. We've got the Empress. More major arcana. Guys, um, this is huge. I don't want you to make the right decision, the wrong decision. Sorry. Really, really take your time. Really take your time. You want something that's going to um, make you feel like anything that you put your mind to you can achieve the person who if this is a choice between two people you want to go for the person who makes you feel like you can really grow and expand in your life because when two people join together you want to be able to each grow as separate individuals as well as growing together in a partnership so whatever makes you feel like or whoever makes you feel like you will have the most opportunities for growth and abundance um, that is who you need to go with you need to really use your intuition and avoid anyone who could be manipulating you why is the nine of wands here please why is the nine of wands here what is Aquarius feeling defensive about? What is going on to make Aquarius feel so defensive? What is this final battle? What is threatening Aquarius's stability? Why is the Nine of Wands here, please? That's too many cards. Just one or two, three... Why is the Nine of Wands here? What is going on with the Nine of Wands, please? Seven of Swords, again. Okay. Yeah, someone's really um, got you on guard because there's manipulative energy around you. Whoever you're having these um, petty arguments with, like just really stupid arguments, someone who wants to win at all costs, um, someone who has you know too much of an ego that they can't shake, that's the manipulative energy that's around you and you want to avoid that. You're feeling very, very defensive and worried about that and you don't want to make the wrong choice. You don't want to go for the person who you know, kind of maybe this person has something that kind of keeps you hooked in um, or, you know, maybe they're very attractive or something keeps you hooked into this person. Maybe they're quite, they can be quite charming. Maybe they can make you feel sometimes like, um, you know, really excited and really passionate. But at the end of the day, if there's, if you can kind of tell that there's manipulation going on, that there's any kind of stupid arguments to do with this person's ego um whoever has the bigger ego i think that's who you need to avoid yeah you're gonna have to use your um strength here you're gonna have to really use your inner strength to um not just stand up to this person but to avoid falling into the trap of you know getting uh kind of you know Avoid falling for the superficial aspects of this person, their charming nature, um, 
you know, their physical looks, whatever it may be, whatever's kind of sucking you into this person, you need to kind of be strong and and avoid that. Why is the Eight of Wands here, please? What is going on with the Eight of Wands? What is going on with this Eight of Wands? What is the action or communication that is coming in for September? What is the nature of the communication? Again, Five of Swords and the Fool. Okay, Aquarius, um, more stupid petty arguments coming in. You need to take a new leap. You need to um, start something fresh. Um, it's time to take a risk and leap into something new. Maybe this decision has been so difficult because you're deciding between someone who you've known for a long time um, or something who, a situation or a person that you're comfortable with, even if it's not necessarily fulfilling you, you're comfortable with it because you've known it for a long time. It's time to step away from that. Don't cling to something just because it's safe uh, or because um, you know, you're scared of the unknown. It's time to take a leap into something new. And I think, I think that's what you're going to do. I'm going to pull just one more card to end up with. Just one more card. What is going to help Aquarius? There we go. We've got the five of earth, five of pentacles. So yeah, you want to avoid whoever makes you feel like you're left out in the cold. Whoever makes you feel um, lonely. Just because, as I said, just because you've known this person for a long time or you've been in this situation for a long time, if it's not emotionally fulfilling you, you need to move on. This is the, this is the time to move on because this person is um, a little bit selfish. They have a very strong ego. They're manipul manipulative um, and you don't need that energy in your life. So I hope that was very helpful. That may have just been a very, very... Um, specific reading for um, one person but whoever needed to hear it um, I hope that that message has helped you um, again don't forget to like the video if it resonated with you and subscribe to my channel um, for more content hope you enjoyed that guys and I will see you in the next video